The government said it did not vote on the UN resolution on Syria because it did not agree with the call for President Bashar al-Assad to step down, and also it did not agree for there to be cohesion among the Syrian opposition, which it said must also take blame for the bloodshed. The UN estimates that nearly 20,000 people have been killed in Syria since the uprising against the Syrian president in March 2011. The foreign ministry said it found it unacceptable the call for al-Assad to step down, since this was outside the accepted international norms of democratic governance processes. Further, the ministry said that the resolution also encourages cohesion among the opposition, many of whom are unknown to the international community, and some of whom are identified by the UN Human Rights Council as perpetrating human rights violations. Guyana could not blindly support opposition elements under such circumstances, the foreign ministry said in a statement. Earlier this week, Dr. Rupert Rupnerein, a leading member of the opposition coalition APNU, said the government seems fixated with the opposition and assigning blame. They seem to have opposition on their brain. When the Syrian protests started, you may recall the Syrian protests started as peaceful protests in the streets by thousands and thousands of people who were set upon by tanks and, and aircraft and various things. And every hour that goes by, Assad is continuing to carry out you know, crimes against humanity in Syria. This apparently is not sufficiently persuasive for the foreign ministry to take a position of principle in relation to what is happening in, in, uh, in Syria. The Minister of Foreign Affairs said that Guyana has followed with grave concern the unfolding situation in Syria and the increasingly heavy toll it has taken on the people of that country. Guyana has enjoyed a cozy relationship with the Syrian government under al-Assad. Then President Barajagio met with Assad in Damascus back in 2009. As a concerned member of the international community, Guyana continues to urge a peaceful resolution uh, to the Syrian crisis, the ministry stated.